finding ways to keep your pets safe. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Julie Bragg. And I'm Leland Pinder. For many, your pet is no different than another member of your family. So if they get lost or even worse, stolen, it can lead to panic and despair. Senior reporter Wayne Colville talked with an expert on ways to protect your pups. In the real world, he'd be $1,500. His name is Thor. But to Glenn Burke, no amount of cash can buy his body. Thor's a German Shepherd. But there are times when some people look to a five-finger discount to get a pet. Unfortunately, yes, people do actually pick them up to steal them. In late January, the owner of two small dogs in southern Chesterfield County says it happened here in her yard. She had called around to all of the local facilities to let them know both of her Shih Tzus were missing. One finally was found miles away. It ended up in our jurisdiction and it was turned over to our facility. But the amount of time the person had the dog was... About a month. Amanda says if you find a dog, the law is very specific. You have 48 hours in the state of Virginia to call it into the jurisdiction in which you found it in to report it to animal control or the proper authorities. To protect Thor. He's chipped. It's very important because the, the amount of dogs that people um, try to steal because of the value. Another layer of protection is at your fingertips. First suggestion always is to take multiple pictures of that animal throughout its lifetime. It's important to identify any particular markings, birthmarks, or different colors throughout the body. And old-fashioned collars. Wearing it, especially if they're going to be out, outside in your yard. Colonial Heights Animal Control says microchips really are your first level of safety when it comes to your pets. They say most vets and animal control officers will scan for those chips. Also, they say if your dog is stolen, to file a larceny report with your local law enforcement agency. Working for you in Colonial Heights, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.